Right guys, I'm going to talk to you about my GoPro and Hero 9. So I bought my GoPro Hero 9 uh, about a year and a half ago now and it has been a game changer for me in my videos. So today I'm gonna to talk about why I reckon you should get one if you're in the building trade, and I'm gonna to talk to you about why this makes sense for you to have. Even if it's not for doing YouTube videos, even if it's just for doing videos of how your jobs have started and ended. So guys, I use the GoPro Hero 9 all the time. It's my main camera. Uh, I had a GoPro Hero 4 black, ages ago. I've still got one now, but I don't use it at all now because the quality is nowhere near as good as this. So I've been using the GoPro Hero now for about a year and a bit, and the main reason is because it's so simple to use and you're gonna get great quality. Now, there is a few things that I have changed with my GoPro. I've put the max lens on and it has made a big difference. Um, it's much wider, but I still do use the other lens as well but I tend to find now that I don't really tend to change the lens too much now. So, I use the GoPro Hero now for pretty much all my recordings, and one of the main reasons I like to do it is because I can be on the move when I'm talking. The stabilization on this is brilliant. When you're using the phone, you'll tend to find it's quite jerky, and when I'm, when I'm doing my videos, I tend to be moving around, and I need to basically be doing as much as I can and because I want to be showing you exactly how to do it jobs, I like to use my head cam as well, so you can actually see what I'm doing as I'm plastering. It's so smooth, there is no issues you get. The stabilization is spot on. So one of the things that I do use a lot is the time lapse, and I use it a lot. Um, I, I used to use the time warp a lot when I used to use the other lens, but because I'm using the wider lens now, I can't use that as much. Why do I think that you should get a GoPro if you don't even make videos? Right, well, I think it's important that you document your work, and it is for a security reason more than anything else. I've had jobs where people have not wanted to pay, or when somebody says you've not done what you've said you've done, and then you go, well, actually, here is a video of what I've done. And then basically you've got all the proof you need. I had a problem a few years ago where somebody refused to pay and I had to take them to small claims court. Luckily for me, I'd taken loads of photos of everything I'd done. So I had to go to court, but I did get all my money reimbursed and I got all my fees as well. So having, having actual security is a big thing. Another thing is that, especially if you're working on your own, it's an extra set of eyes. Sometimes I've noticed that, um, especially when I was doing K-Rend, um, I was rubbing and I couldn't see where I was looking, but my camera was set up in a position and I had a quick look at it and I could actually see areas that I'd missed because I was too close to the work. So it's like having a second pair of eyes on you, especially because you can see the screens. So I know you can say you could use your camera phone, which I recommend doing, but sometimes you run out of battery and having a standalone camera just to do it makes sense because you can just stick it in the corner of the room, chuck a time lapse on and it can record what you've done. So why is the GoPro great? Well, for me, the screen at the front, this is brilliant. This helps me to see what I'm actually looking for and also to make sure that I'm actually talking to you, whereas it makes it feel a bit more natural. When, I'm, when I first started doing videos, I felt a bit stiff when I was talking to the camera and a lot of that was to do with the fact that I couldn't really see where I was looking and with the camera here you can actually make sure that you're actually pointing to the right areas and also if you set it up in a corner you can actually say oh yeah it's pointed at the right thing as well so that is definitely a big advantage of using the GoPro. So another thing that I should mention on this is the GoPro subscription service. At night, I chuck my GoPro charged on the wall and it uploads it to the cloud. So GoPro have their own, I think you pay about 50 pound a year for it, but there are always offers on, they're like 50% offers on. And when you first buy a camera, I think you get it for free, free for 12 months. And it is brilliant because I do record an awful lot of video and there's a lot of memory used up and basically every night I plug it in and it uploads it all to the cloud so I can wipe my SD card and then basically my videos are stored up there and I don't have to think about them. 
and basically when I want to do a video I just download them boom and I'm ready to go so let's talk about the negatives with the GoPro so there have been a few things that I've not liked about the GoPro the touchscreen on the back isn't very sensitive it is a bit can be a bit glitchy and it doesn't always work straight away i believe they've improved that on the gopro hero 10. another thing is that there's a little mount just underneath the camera uh, which is part of the camera i've had that fall off um, and i've had to put new screws in it i think i've done that about three or four times now but i do use this camera every day so it's and it does get a lot of abuse from me because obviously it's, uh, there's a lot of plaster and dust. With using the max lens, I found that when it gets past, when it gets to about 20%, it won't let me record and it will just keep turning itself off. Um, I just think that's because the GoPro uses a bit more processor in power. So when you do get lower, you may be better using the other lens, but I always have three batteries, so I'm constantly in rotation. So that's, um, that doesn't affect me too much. They are the only negatives that I've found is that the touchscreen can be a bit slow um, and obviously the little mount underneath. Um, also, the, the, it does turn itself off when you're on the max mode when your battery is not even dead yet. So that's been a little bit of an issue, but it's nothing that you can't deal with. So I would definitely recommend using one of these if you do want to document your jobs or if you want to start your own youtube channel up or do it on instagram and stuff you can flip the camera if you need to do it for instagram posts and stuff right guys so that is my review of the gopro hero 9 i think this camera is brilliant i'm definitely looking forward to trying out the gopro hero 10 when i need to get a new one um, I am very interested in using the 360 camera actually, but that'll be another day, I guess. If you do want to get a camera, I would definitely recommend the GoPro Hero 9. Right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you do like these videos, please like and subscribe. I drop these videos every Tuesday from tool reviews to doing tutorials or just doing plastering vlogs. So if you wanna come and see them, just click the subscribe button here and then you'll get to see videos every week. Remember, subscription doesn't cost a penny, it's just one click. Right, thank you guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.